Hello learners of class 12. Welcome to the wonderful world of English language classroom. Learners, this is the third episode of the first lesson. We have done two episodes. The first one we did reading and understanding of the text and the second one we learnt post perfect and post tense in context. Learners, uh, we also have had some discussions on how a community feels when their language is lost within their region. So, that is the other part of it, the value part of it and how people live, how, how people are discriminated. So, having read the text, the last lesson and interpreted it, understood it, then also the notice the form that is gram, grammatical activity. In this episode, the third episode of this first lesson, we will move on to learn to write some aspects, particularly notice writing. Learners, your textbook has some activities like writing part page number uh, 11, write a notice for your school notice board. Your notice could be an announcement for the forthcoming event or a requirement to be fulfilled or a rule to be followed. So, we notice lot of things on our school bulletin board. The same way, uh, the, the narrator of the story, Franz, when he started from home to the school, he noticed something uh, on the town hall. Is it? Uh, so, same way we are going to write some notices, learn how to write notices. So, learners, I am Meganathan from the Department of Education and Languages in CRT. With me is Devayani, a class 12 student and she will be working with you to do the activities. Before we move on to do the activity, let me read out the objectives of the lessons. At the end of this lesson, learners, we will be able to write short notices, minutes, summaries, reports based on the given input in context and undergo the processes involved in writing coherently for purposes adopting process approach to writing. We will learn what is process approach to writing. Writing does not come at once. We have idea, we gather ideas, we put down into outline form jot down, then write the first draft and finalize it. We will see that, how it happens. Then also we need, most of our writing happens in real life situations. We do not, we write emails, we write uh, applic uh, we write applications uh, for post of something or official communication in offices, in schools. So, we will also learn to write real life purposes in professional and academic settings. We have set the objectives, Devyani. So, notice writing. Okay, we have learned post perfect and post tense last time. Yes. Now we are moving to writing. So let's make it interesting writing, learners. So let's see how the notice is displayed in a school like yours. So here are the major components aspects of a notice. So let me ask Devyani to read out. Come on, read out the notice to the learners. On the top, it's Government High School, Palampur, then notice, date, school sports day. And school annual sports day will be held in during last week of September 2020. All the sport houses are directed to select their participants for the event and train them well. House masters and captains are advised to ensure proper participate and register the names of the participants with the physical education teachers on or before 10 September 2020. Below, teacher in charge, sport and games. Fine. All right. Learners, Devayani, what is the purpose of the notice? To give information. Okay. Fine. All right. School sports day. Yes. Fine. Very good. Uh, then, what are the readers of the notice? What are the students of the notice are expected to do having read the notice? They are expected to give their names 
Fine. Who's a sports teacher? Fine. And when? When? When should they give? Before or on? On a, a yeah, okay. Fine. Learners, Devayani, let's notice the purpose is communicated, conveyed in the notice. Yeah. Of course, first is the heading. What is the event? What is the thing expected of? Then, to whom the notice is written? Mm. So, all sports captains and house masters are advised to do something. Yes. So, practice. That's the purpose. Then, when the event is taking place, and what is what is the some, sometimes last date, examination date? No. All all the students of class twelve are asked to uh, meet their class teachers and fill in the application forms on or before this date. The last date would be this. So then learners, let me also show it again. The notice should serve the purpose. We are not writing an essay. We are writing very short notice. The name of the institution and the date is very important because children should know, the people who use the notice should know when it is issued. Then there is a heading there, learners, then the purpose, then what is expected of them when they read the newspaper, then who gives the notice. This is what. Now, let us demonstrate by asking Devayani to write, learners, you are also going to write a notice. Here is a notice for you. Learners, before I give you the notice as a work, let us see how we learn to write. This we call it process approach to writing. So, whatever we do, you play, play a game, you learn to ride on a bicycle or a motorbike, that is a process. So, it, through which you learn, so people tell you this or this, a, a accelerator, brake, whatever, whatever, then you should follow the traffic rules, you should look forward uh, and hold the steering thing. So, the same way, let us also know what is the, the process involved in writing. Come on. When you write a notice, you brainstorm yourself. So, what is it about? What is it about? Suppose it is a notice yes. on sports day. Then, then second thing, you jot down some points. Oh, I have to write a notice. So, let us jot, jot down the points. Then, I have to write a notice to students and housemasters. Then, I have to mention the date. So, all the points are noted there, jotted down. Then, you move on to make your outline. If you write a paragraph, you, the outline is very important. And here also it is very important. Make an outline. Then start writing, doing the first draft. Okay, let me draft it first. Then see what is missing, what is needed to be added. Then what is to be corrected. So, sports day, who is giving the notice, all the information is included in my drafting. Then I revise it and rewrite it. There are five stages and proofread it. Then final draft. So, learners, if you learn to write undergoing this process at least once a month, one paragraph or one essay, you are writing over the year, in a year will improve and most of us will lose slightly some points marks in the board exam or the annual exam. Because, so, it is 10 mark question, I got only 7 marks or 6 marks, that will be a it's a bridged, you, you may be able to convey. We will see in the article writing, uh, paragraph writing later. Today we are doing only notice writing. Learners, that is the task. Devyani, you are going to do it, adopting the process approach. You are the president of the school environment club. Write a notice to the notice board, asking all students of class 12 to participate in the tree plantation program to be held on 20th July near your school campus. Come on, let us demonstrate how a notice is developed. Come on. Let me think about the question. So, you are the president of the school environment club. Write, write to notice board asking all the students of class 12 to participate in the tree plantation program to be held on 20th July 2020 near your school campus. So, let me write what, when and how, where. So, what? It is a um, tree plantation program. So, let me write tree plantation program. And what, when? When it is written on 20th July 2020. 
after what when i will write where so it's it's co- it's written you are the president and near your school campus so i'll take my school name kendriya vidyalaya jnu then for who it is meant for it's 12 students class 12 student let me make an outline of it and let me revise everything uh, what is happening here it's a tree plantation program on 20th july 2020 in kendriya vidyalaya jnu campus and and it is meant for 12th class student so let me make a outline of it first i'll write my school's name now i'll write notice in bold and i'll in capital letters and i'll underline it now we'll write the date of giving the notice so first here comes the month then the day and slash the year with a comma and then we'll switch to which club are we representing here so it is the school environment club so in the middle i'll write in bold letters school and i'll underline it so first i'll start it's from school environment club and here is tree plantation program now the outline is ready so first i will write my school's name after one line i'll write notice the date after the date we will write the event heading which is tree plantation day and then we'll start our notice paragraph the school environment tree club is organizing a tree plantation day near our campus all the class 12 students are requested to participate in the event on 20th july 20 and the year and we can shift the paragraph or after one line we can write we plant trees or just quote the whole event we plant trees to save earth all are welcome and after that we'll write the position the president as in question it's written you are the president of the school environment club so i'll write president in next line i'll write school environmental club and that and always put your notice in a box so don't forget the box fine all right okay let, let, let's discuss uh, about the box later uh, but what they were they were you have done a good, good job of creating a notice based on the given input that is the question uh, as the president of the environmental club you are expected to write your notice you have included everything learners and the way any let's be not so serious about the format but there must be some format so the name of the school or the institution then the notice or the event events name event heading then the date or before that it, the date then the body of the notice then the person who gives it so you may follow any format putting into box or not putting into box uh, uh, sometimes it's required as devyani says uh, fine and one good good thing she has just told me is don't write the notice starting from one at the end of one page and move on to the next page write in a fresh page so that the notice is fully seen and easily noticed so learners that's what a notice writing is so she did that uh, rough work mm-hmm. that is brainstorming work jotting down creating an outline which actually helps you to get ideas and not to miss any ideas yes. so this will be much more useful when you write a paragraph article letter writing so that we will discuss later uh, let me thank you for having done that job and also the learners uh, you must have done it so please keep that process approach to writing in mind so brainstorming helps it help makes you uh, get ideas and write very well now ha- though she has written uh, this one this can be developed into final draft so now the question arises so how will i do it in an examination yes. so in examination quickly you do the rough work then move on to the final draft but in the classroom at home at least every month every week one essay one notice and this all the writing part activities tasks you practice at home undergoing the process and slowly reduce the time of each stage so that's what my 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 suggestion would be to you 
learners thank you very much let me give you a task the way i need to do at home so it appears on your screen you are the secretary of the health club of your school you are planning to organize an event of interaction with the physician doctors to clarify your doubts teenage related problems so write a notice to the notice board of students of classes 9 to 12 because this is the crucial age a lot of questions occur in our mind so you may question there will be two doctors a female doctor and a male doctor so write a notice to the your notice board asking all your friends classmates from classes 9 to 12 to come and participate and interact with the doctors learners devyani thank you very much today we have learned to write notice come on there are lots of uh, activities in our workbook uh, uh, in the in the qr code uh, uh, activities and in the textbook also please attempt to do it and now onwards when you read a newspaper there are lots of notices appear government government notices private notices company notices official notices just take a look at it on sunday you will see hundreds of them small small classified advertisements notice someone changing the name he gives a notice to uh, i so and so here by uh, now one was henceforth will be known as this i have changed the name legally so that is also a notice then event notice then celebrations notice and uh, uh, the prime minister and the ministers of participate some events all will be there but you see how an official notice is written and your personal notice is written so learners thank you very much devyani thank you we will meet in the next episode next lesson of class 12 thank you very much till then keep learning be safe